Okay, today's video is going to be about creating a system in your car that you can use to put your handgun in while you are driving where it would still be accessible to you. You don't have to sit on it if it's in your holster and you know uh, back at like four o'clock position which can be uncomfortable. It just gives you a nice place to put it while you're driving where it's still accessible and it's not a discomfort for you while you're sitting. Now during this video I'm going to be showing you how to do it quite cheaply with just a standard Black Hawk Serpa holster. Uh, this one right here is for a Glock 26, 27, 33, so it's for a subcompact Glock. Now, it will also work with a compact Glock. The only difference is you'll have like a quarter inch of a barrel sticking out the bottom, uh, which isn't a big problem with the type of application we're going to be using this for. And uh, vice versa, if you got the one for the 19, the only thing you would have is you would have a little bit of uh, empty at the bottom of the holster, which wouldn't be an issue either for the, the situation we're using. This was $35. I found this at my local dealer and it was on clearance, so I spent $15 for this. So $15 for the primary part that I need to complete this project. That's not a bad deal. And the only thing I'll need other than this are a couple of small parts. Okay, all you're going to need is the holster itself. Uh, you will need some screws that have a heavy thread that are self-tapping uh, that will hold into plastic well. You will need Possibly some washers, possibly not, depending on how big the screw heads are. And uh, one other thing you may need later, which I don't need now for the installation, but I get these just in case, is these little caps. Uh, you can just paint these to whatever color your console is uh, with some paint that's formulated for plastic. And then if you ever decide to remove this application, you just take the screws out, you pop these in where the screws were, and you'll never know it was ever installed. Now, one other thing you may need, choose, depending on how you choose to alter the holster, is you may need a file, but I'll show you in a little while why you may need that file and you may not. Okay, first we're going to need the holster, so let's get the holster out here. And you're going to have to modify the holster a little bit, but don't let that scare you. You're not going to need to do anything major. Now, you won't need the little uh, paddle, that part, the paddle part here that comes with it. You just toss that aside. All you will need is this part and the little backer here. Uh, now one thing you will need to do, and I'll show you this later during the installation, is you will be able to heat this with a heat gun or a hair dryer and bend these to where they're a little straighter. So that way you can mount it flush against your console. Now if you have a console that has a rounded area that you're hooking it on, of course you wouldn't do that. But most consoles are going to be flat the way you're mounting it, so you'll want to flatten these outward a little bit so you get a little bit more of a flat up against the surface when you're screwing it in. Because screws, as we all know, work a lot better when they're flat up against the surface. Okay, anyone that's familiar with these holsters knows they have a little locking system here. When you place the gun in, it locks in place. Now that's not going to be the best application for what we're doing because we are going to be using a left-handed holster here for this application. Now this application works for right-handed people because you'll be mounting it to your right to the center console of your vehicle. Now if you're left-handed, this is not going to work as well for you. You'll have to come up with something else, maybe something you can put into your door of your car, which I don't really recommend because your doors are opening and closing all the time. You don't want a gun in that while it's opening and closing. But for right-handed people, which is most of us, this will mount on there. You'll have this to grab the gun from. But the problem is you can't reach that with your thumb to release that. So you'll need to do one of three things. You will either need to remove this lock period, uh, which I don't recommend because this, these kind of holsters don't have a very good retention without the lock. So you'll need it to somewhat. Uh, you could put an extension on this. You can just use a screw and a piece of plastic to put a little extension where you can rework it from your thumb up here, uh, which does work. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I have been able to make that work. Uh, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is you just simply file down the inside of the holster here with a little latch. If you see that little knob right there, that is what locks it in. Well, you can see it's beveled on this side. Well, what you're going to have to do is take your file, which I said you would have to use later, and bevel the other side, which I will do now. Now, before I actually start modifying this holster so I can use it, I just want to let people know that the only reason I'm modifying this holster is because I have done a similar thing before with one of these holsters to use them, and uh, I know how to do it. I feel comfortable that I can do it. Now, if I did not feel comfortable doing that, and even if I did feel comfortable doing it, it wouldn't be my first choice. Uh, my first choice would be to get a holster that's similar to this that does not use this. It uses the screws to tighten the holster down for retention. That's the, uh, the best holster to use for this application. But since I got this for $15 and I know I can do this, I'm going to do that with this one because I'm cheap. But if you're starting from scratch and you're going to install something like this, get one of the holster types like this that have these screws right here that tighten the holster down for retention instead of using one of these springs. That way you have better retention and you don't have to do any modifying. Okay, now I have it filed down in there. So now it does lock in there very well. It's not coming out. But if you pull with any kind of force whatsoever, it snaps free. 
you don't have to actually press uh, the lever anymore. It just kind of snaps out, which is kind of what you wanted. And now you can go ahead and tighten the little screw down here to give yourself even a little more retention. Okay, now with that retention screw tightened, it is very firmly in there. This is not coming out accidentally at all. But now once you have it mounted and you go just to put a little pressure on it, pull it out, it'll come right out. It will snap free. So that's what you want right there. Our next step now is just to bend these wings out to where they're a little flatter. We'll just heat them up with our trusty uh, heat gun here and uh, bend them outward. Oh, and you can remove these little clips right here. You won't be needing these unless you choose to drill through them and use them as some sort of mounting bracket. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to remove them. Okay, they are bent. That took a whole like 15 seconds to do that. And as you can see now, if you put it up against a flat surface here, you can now mount this on a flat surface. Okay, now it is all modified. The back is flat, like I said. You know, you can see there it's all flat rate right amount. The gun comes easily out now without pushing the button. Still has retention though that the gun will not fall out, won't bounce out. So now we just need to get it installed, which is surprisingly the easy part. One thing I do want to add before I actually install it here is that uh, these actually come off this backing pretty easily just with these screws. So if I ever wanted to say buy one of these holsters for my XDS or if I, if I decide to carry another gun, you know, even if I go back to revolvers, whatever, I can just buy one of the Black Hawk holsters for that gun, do the same modification to it, attach it to this backing and not have to modify a backing again. So it does offer you the option of changing out your gun pretty easily because this part actually just unscrews and comes right off and this will be the part mounted to your vehicle. Okay, the first thing I'll need to do, since this curves and it's not a straight line, I need to decide the cant of the holster, which you adjust by the screws in the back. So I'm just going to hold it where I want it and kind of decide, you know, how do I want the holster to sit once I put it on here. Okay, now that I have the cant and I know how I want it and where I want it, uh, I'm just going to put it in place, hold it right where I want it, and then mark my drill holes. Now I want to put the drill holes a little low. I mean I'd be tempted to put them clear up here at the top but I don't want to do that because then I have no up and down movement of the holster. So I want to put them at least an inch down and that should have me exactly where I want to be right there. Got my little holes marked. Okay now I'm just going to drill a couple little pilot holes. And now I'm just going to take the uh, screws and washers, which I have, of course, painted matte black, and screw them in. Okay, now that it started, I just need to put it in position and tighten it down. Now, one thing I will recommend you do with here, I will recommend you do use manual screwdrivers because when you're drilling into plastic and when you're screwing into plastic, you really don't want to over tighten because then you'll lose your grip, you'll strip it out real easy. But with a good hard plastic like this and a good heavy grade screw, you will have a good hold as long as you don't over tighten. Okay, it is installed now. Uh, it's raining outside now, so I can't actually set up the tripod, so I have to show you here by hand. Once I got it installed, I did have to put a screw at the bottom here to make it more stable, uh, but that I knew I was gonna do that anyway. I did switch to the hex nut tops here because I couldn't get a screwdriver to this one, so I switched to those so that I could get it with a wrench. But there it is installed, and I'll show you here with the gun in it. So there it is now with my Glock 33, which is my regular everyday carry in it. Like I said, I can also put a Glock 19 or 32 or whatever in this also. So uh, it looks pretty nice. It looks very professional. I'll show you what it looks like from a driver's uh, perspective here. Okay, there as you can see, it is installed now and it is not in my way at all. I can even rest my legs over the side. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I've got a very good angle to get a grip on it. It is very solid in there. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to bump out or bounce out if you hit a bump or anything like that or have maybe have a minor accident. But when you want it out, it pops free very easily, much easier than trying to fish for a gun that you have on your waist while you're seated. Uh, like I say, a great place to take off your carry, take your carry gun out of your holster, put it in here. Now, one thing I will warn, uh, most negligent discharges are when taking down a gun and when holstering a gun. So whenever you're in a situation where you're holstering or reholstering your weapon, always be extra careful. But with a little bit of care, there's no real danger in it. 
Now I'll be using this for my daily carry for when I'm in the car, but you could also like take your car, your, your uh, gun that you usually keep in your safe as a backup when you're on long trips or driving and you want to have an extra car, you can just pop it out of the safe, pop it in here. And then when you get out back out of your car, take it back out of here, put it back in your safe and then shove your safe back up under the seat. Now, one thing I will say, know your own state laws, know if it's legal for you to carry a gun loaded in your car, know if you have to have it concealed or if you have to have it in the open. Uh, also know the state laws that you're driving into since you are in your car. Now, granted, you are in your car and what's the chances of anyone knowing what you're doing inside your car, but you, I'm not advocating breaking the law, but I'm saying know your laws and know what risks you're willing to take. I am very happy with the way this project turned out. I think I paid a total of just under $18 to complete the entire project with the screws and the holster, but I got the holster on sale. If you paid full price for the holster, you'd be looking at paying under $40 for this application. Uh, this piece of plastic here is uh, about $85 if I ever have to replace it if I decide I didn't want the holes in it, but I can also just cap the holes and no one would ever see them there on the side. They look like they're just part of the car. So not a big deal for that either. But uh, real good application here, if you ask me. Looks good, looks professional. Uh, looks very professional. I couldn't be happier with it. And anyone who would be concerned of the sheer strength of this uh, being mounted onto a plastic like this, uh, this is, if you do the math on the sheer strength of, these, of the bolts into this plastic, this mount could hold up over 200 pounds. So unless I'll be pulling with more than 200 pounds of pressure, I'm not going to do any damage to this. And believe me, I can't pull with more than 200 pounds of pressure. That angle, not even close, probably more like 20, 25 pounds of pressure. So it's very stable, very secure. So there it is, completely installed. It looks good, looks professional, it's solid. Uh, it works very well so in the end if you have uh, even the least little bit of skills and you want to try to do this I would highly recommend it because it's easy to do and the results are definitely worth it Uh, and you will need possibly need some washers. Oh mother fucker. God damn it. Right, hold about this and just give the gun. Oh mother fucker. Okay, so there you have it installed as you can see it's not mother fucker.